tell us about your diagnosis. Well, first of all, um, I felt lumps um, on my testicles inside my scrotum and um, I chose to ignore them. For how long? For the best part of four years. Wow. Yeah, so I, I was very ignorant of my health. Um, I told my wife a lie. Um, she told me to go and get them checked immediately once I told her about them and she saw them. Um, I think I almost knew what the what the outcome was going to be, and that's why maybe I never went like Didn't like want a lot of to men. Hear it, yeah. yeah. Um, but eventually, when I did go, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer, and it had spread um, to my lungs and onto my brain. So. I'm joining up with um, with KP Nuts um, next week. They they're doing a partnership with uh, with Movember in terms of um, a check your nuts campaign, um, and hopefully I'll be able to raise awareness for testicular cancer and remind people the importance of an early detection, um, the importance of checking, and then going and getting you know an early diagnosis. Um, through your GP, who will then refer you to your to your local hospital. Because, as we said, by the time you were diagnosed and you'd gone to get checked out, it had spread and you almost died. I did almost die. Um, it spread to my lungs and onto my brain, and I was in um, I was in well, I was in desperate trouble at one stage, and um, I don't know to this day why why I came through. Um, simply because I'd left it too long. I had allowed it through the ignorance of my, you know, my health. I'd, had, I'd allowed it to spread. And cancer had spread up to my lungs and onto my brain. And as I said, if I'd gone very early, like we are trying to get the message across, you get an early detection, you go in, you have the testicle removed where the tumour is on, and you avoid all the rigmarole and everything that, that I went through. And as you say, I... Uh, it nearly cost me my life. Yeah, as you say, that early diagnosis is key. We, we were talking in the break, I have a very close friend who, in the past uh, couple of months, uh, discovered something wasn't quite right, went to see the GP straight away, 24 hours later was in surgery, and he is now cancer-free. Because with testicular cancer, the earlier you get it, the survival rates are good, aren't they? Survival rate is 95%, um, but testicular can cancer does kill one man in every 20, every diagnosis of testicular cancer. A lot of that is led to um, not going early. And any illness, not just testicular cancer, any illness that you can get an early detection for, you know, you stand a, bet you stand a much better chance of getting on top of that illness, going and seeing the right specialist, the right people, and receiving the, the, the proper treatment that um, that the illness requires. So my message is, do as I say and not as I did. And what are you looking for? Well, you're looking for small lumps. Um, generally with men, and I know we're on air, it's an afternoon show, but generally with men, they do feel themselves a lot. There's I, no... I've got three men in my exactly. house, I'm there, very there, aware there's no, <laughs> there's, boys as there's well. There's no excuse for not feeling your lumps. Um, and you have to go, you're, you're looking for little, small little lumps. Um, you, you're looking for headaches, um, uh, tiredness, all these general, you know, um, telltale signs, if you like. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for it. And once you've found something, do something about it is the message, isn't it? John Hartson. Absolutely. Thank you very much thank you. indeed.